Hey guys, I'm doing a direct upload for today. I have been kind of lazy today. Um, I have been doing yoga and meditation. I didn't have classes, so I had a lot of time to practice those things. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is healthy eating habits. And like I've said before, I am not an expert in any way, but I do think there's a lot of good information out there from people who aren't experts because you don't have to be an expert in order to figure out what works for you. Now, there's a few different things that go with eating healthier. Um, you know, a big thing is eating healthier foods. I mean, you can eat a little bit of bad food and a lot of good food and still lose weight with a lot of good food. So, or maybe not just lose weight, but just get healthier because you want to cut back on the sugars, so not like the sugars that come from things like candy bars, like not sugars from apples or anything. Um, cut back on sugars, increase your fiber maybe, especially in the morning and your protein in the morning. Uh, those are good things to have for breakfast, like an apple has a lot of fiber and it's good for you. Um, definitely increase your vegetables and fruits because pretty much everybody I know does not eat enough vegetables or fruits. Um, so that's a big thing. And uh, I forget where I heard this from. It wasn't a doctor. But um, I saw somewhere that it's a good idea to cut back on making grains and, or not grains, but like pastas and things and breads um, and meats, the main part of your meal. And it made me think, and actually that's a really good idea because then you're kind of forced to increase um, how many fruits and vegetables you take in. So that's something too. Um, someone commented, so I'm doing a direct upload so I have to go back and look, um, about not drinking soda. Yeah, Marla Wallace Bow, I think is how you say it. Um, she said, giving up soda is a big one. I dropped eight pounds with just that change alone. Good luck. And yeah, that's a great point. Like I have not had soda in about four weeks now. And I was really addicted to Diet Coke. And diet sodas are not any better than regular sodas, really. I mean, they cut back on the sugar and the calories. But they also have aspartame in them, which is not good for you. And all those chemicals and things, and especially um, the carbon that's in them that makes them fizzy, you know, that just makes you bloated, and it's just, you know, I mean, it's just, I, I went to a chiropractor once who was also, also a nutritionist, or whatever, and he made a good point. He said, um, juices are, or what is it, coffee is better than soda, tea is better than coffee, but... God put water on this earth for us to drink for a reason. Now, did God make coffee? And it's kind of like, you know, I don't believe in God. I'm just going to go out there and say it. Um, I'm not a religious person, really. Um, I'm not, I haven't found something that I really believe in. But I think he made a good point that, you know, our, our bodies are made of three-fourths water. And so you need to, this is my water bottle, and... A lot of bot water bottles are 16.9 fluid ounces, which is half a liter, and you should drink um, three to four of these a day. So about a liter and a half to two liters of water a day, and a lot of us do not get enough water. Um, another good point, um, who was this? Thunder Haze. Um, he made a good point saying um, that maybe your natural ideal weight will settle a bit higher than your desired ideal weight. Also, if you seem to feel healthier and feel like you've lost, as much as I hate to use the term, pant sizes, but your weight is stagnant, it could be that you're converting fat into muscle, which is more dense and in turn causes you to pro probably gain more. And I think that's a great point that a lot of people don't realize, and I mean, I already knew that, but when I say that I want to lose weight, what I'm really saying is that I want to see the weight come off my body in terms of fat. Um, because muscle does weigh more than fat. And if you're working out, you're doing cardio, you're doing strength ex exercises or yoga, you're going to be getting more muscle. So I think it's better not to look so much at the scale 
and to look at your body and how it's changing and how your body feels. That was another good point about how your body feels because you might not be losing weight, but like your skin could be getting clearer or less oily or you could feel less bloated or just things like that, making small changes in your eating habits. Um, but there were a lot of people that made really good points. Um, Plush Banana asked about meditation, which wasn't going to be something I was going to talk about, but I can throw it in there because meditation, I think, is really, really simple. Um, unless you're doing it for religious purposes, meditation is really just based on your breathing, which is why it's linked to yoga so much because yoga um, is usually practiced by people who practice meditation religiously or it's also focused on your breathing. So, I don't meditate for very long because I'm not a very patient person, but I hope that the more I do meditate, the longer I'll be able to go. What All I really do to meditate, and you don't have to be sitting in any sort of position, you can just be sitting in your chair like I am, or you can be walking, or you can be standing or laying down. It really doesn't matter from, I mean, from my perspective and from the things I've seen and the things I've learned about meditation. Um, just sit there and close your eyes and take some really deep breaths, slowly in and out, and just concentrate on your breaths. Think about the flow of the air moving in and out of your lungs. And just concentrate on the breaths. Don't think about anything else. And if anything else pops into your head, just snap right back into thinking about your breaths. And I've only been doing that for about a minute a day the past few days. And I'm hoping to build up to five minutes a day. You know, um, that is my goal. So, I mean, that's all I really do for meditation. And it just makes you calm down and, I don't know, like, <laughs> I might sound like a hippie, but it gets you in touch with yourself so but back to eating habits um yeah I think portions are a good thing I think you know looking at your portions and how much of each thing you're eating um because like I said you could have a lot of salad and a little bit of fries and the salad might be healthier for you and it's also different um how it's prepared because you could have baked fries or you could have like fries that are deep fried and obviously the baked fries are going to be better for you. So those are just a few things to look out for. Drink more water and things like that. So, and always remember to eat foods you like. Because if you eat foods that are healthier for you, um, because they are healthier for you, or because they have less calories, or because they have less seasoning, or things like that, and you don't enjoy it, then you're not going to feel full. You're not going to feel like, you know, you're doing anything good for your body. So that's another thing. Keep in mind that you do need to make yourself happy and don't starve yourself because if it gets to a point where you're not eating enough, your body is actually going to store that fat and you're not going to lose any weight and it's going to be very unhealthy for you. So I will talk to you guys later and hope you're having a good day and that the weather doesn't suck wherever you are. Bye.